Norman talks about four different types of constraints, physical, cultural, semantic, and logical. Physical constraints prevent you from doing the wrong action. For example, the gate on the ground floor of staircases that was shown in a previous slide prevents people who are running for the exit from mistakenly going down to the basement. Let's define the other constraints and look at examples in the next slide. A cultural constraint relies on accepted cultural conventions. A semantic constraint relies on the meaning of the situation. And a logical constraint uses the layout of components to make something obvious. Okay, let's see these constraints in action. Consider this Lego motorcycle policeman. First, let's talk about the physical constraint. Most Lego pieces for this motorcycle fit together in only one way. Those are physical constraints. But there are also cultural constraints here. The red, blue, and yellow lights are actually interchangeable. But brake lights are typically red and go in the back. In Denmark, where Legos are made, headlights are often yellow. And once you have placed the red and yellow lights, a logical constraint exists for the blue lights because the only place left to put them are on the handlebars. Finally, a semantic constraint dictates that the rider goes on the bike facing the front. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to see where he was going. By the way, it's interesting to note that this semantic constraint doesn't work all the time. If I give you 10 seconds, can you name a mode of transportation where the driver of the vehicle is facing the back of the vehicle instead of the front? 10 seconds starting now. There's probably more than one answer, but my favorite is rowboat.